Hi. We are back with Kelsey Mo. Hey, Kels. Uh, hi. How are you? Great. You sure? I'm so good. What's so goddamn funny? <laughs> do you like peaches? I do, actually. The fruit or the artist? Both. That's you. Really okay. Why? All right, okay. just relax. Serious, serious face. Just pretend we're together. at the bar earlier. Okay, it was a lot darker, but okay. So who's George? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm kidding. George, if you're watching, I'm watching you. <laughs> I know it's been one close encounter, but I'm watching you. All right, so while Kelsey composes herself, Kelsey's one of our newest residents here. Okay. She was Tim Seneca's apprentice and kind of technically still is. Still is. Sort of. Still am. Sort of. Yeah, no, I am. You are? I think so. You tattoo every day? I do. What led you to tattooing? I always kind of had it in the back of my mind that it was something that I wanted to do from a very, I guess a young age from when I was like 15 or 16, but I never really took it seriously until about two years ago. Um, and I was working a boring office job for the last 11 years and I wasn't fulfilled and I knew that I wasn't using my talents to the best of my ability and that I had a lot more to offer the world, I guess. You went to school for fashion I design? I did, yeah. Has that helped you in your tattooing? In some ways, like understanding, like I guess the biggest thing is like understanding how things kind of like, I don't know, like getting 3D designs onto a flat surface and like cutting darts into stencils, I guess, I don't know. But I mean, I haven't done like, very, very many large scale pieces, so. So how does that work? Like, so you're like laying out patterns? Yeah. it's kind of similar to that like because in fashion design you're you're taking I don't know like clothes that are going to be fit around a 3d figure and then laying them out on a flat surface oops no, <laughs> on a flat surface sorry we don't need that I don't think so on a flat surface to what be like that? drafted I don't know like with a cord it's fine just ruining everything. how did you come to be it off the map tattooed here God, like maybe eight years ago, nine years ago, um, and I don't know, like I just knew of the place, I knew all the artists were really amazing, and I just knew that when I made the decision that this is what I wanted to do, I knew that this was the place that I wanted to be. I remember being on this very show and calling you up on the phone. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck, I should have <laughs> totally queued that up. Why didn't we queue that up? Of your, oh, okay. Yeah. Of your phone call. Yeah. Where you told, told me to shut, shut up. up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. You won. I did. I won. I won uh, to get to the text. No, the artist retreat mm -hmm. last April, two Aprils ago. Did you go? Yes. Was it entertaining? It was awesome. What it did you learn? It was super scary. Um, did, you that was, did you pee a little? I did pee a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it was like super intimidating because at that point I didn't know anybody here or anybody in the industry. And like, that was actually my first trip that I traveled all by myself. And it was super scary and intimidating and stressful and gave me so much anxiety, but it was also really awesome. How did you come to connect with Tim Seneca? <laughs> I knew before I met him, like I, since I knew that I wanted to apprentice that off the map, um, and like I knew that he worked here, obviously, and I, I don't know, before I even met him, I was just like, that's the guy. Like, that's the guy that I want to learn from. How come? I don't know, just something about his work, like his color and... Did you, know how, did, you, did you know how much of a ball buster he was? No, I did not. <laughs> I did not. Oh, is it not? I think we should talk we'll about just, this. Hey. Hi. So, how did you meet Tim Cynical? Um, well, I started coming here to the shop um, July, June, July 2015. Um, and I just... No, go ahead. Keep talking. I just want to see the other end of this. Make sure it's actually turned on. Oh, 
That would be weird. Mm -hmm. um, Sorry. Um, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Um, <laughs> and I started coming here just helping out with the front desk and stuff and um, started spending a little bit of time with him, watching him and observing him work. And pretty much one day I just like cornered him in his booth and was like, hey, Tim, will you apprentice me? And he was just like, mm -hmm. yeah. Sure. Okay. Did you realize what kind of shit storm you're going to bring upon yourself by having Tim apprentice you? Not really a shit storm. Because Tim's awesome. Like, don't get me wrong. Tim's great. He's great. Like, he will give you the proper he, apprenticeship. He's a, he's a no bullshit kind of guy, and I very much appreciate that. About totally. Him. Even though sometimes it's hard to hear. You know? It's but definitely like, will I kill your confidence. Oh, if, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I need that very much, and like that's ultimately... like He's pushed me um, beyond what I thought I could ever do or accomplish, and that's awesome, and I'm super, super grateful for him. So Tim had you tattoo lots and lots of pig skin. Mm -hmm. How was that experience? Smelly and greasy. It was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I was so glad I didn't have to go through that. Yeah, it was, it was good practice, but it was definitely greasy. The first mandala that you did was, I was like, wow, that's amazing. And then you did a portrait of Gabe oh, yeah. on pig skin, which I yeah. wish I had framed somewhere. Uh, I think I I think I may have accidentally thrown that out because I just got rid of a bunch of that stuff from my freezer because it's been in my freezer for almost a year now, and I just the other day got rid of some of it. So. So now that you've been actually tattooing actively for a while, how do you like off the map? It's awesome. It's okay. I love everybody here. Everybody's super awesome and super supportive and encouraging mm. and. Ninety-eight percent of us. Not yeah, and it's like super. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. I'm still intimidated coming here every day because I'm just surrounded by so much awesomeness and I still feel like little old me that doesn't know anything about anything and like, I don't know, you're it's kind of crazy. You're not a bookkeeper anymore? I'm not. So the first stuff I saw from you was your pyro pyrography stuff. Mm -hmm. Where did that come from? Um, the pyrography specifically? Yeah. That was just kind of a fun experiment. Like that, those two, like the uh, Frankenstein and mm. Frankenstein's Bride were like lady. the second and third attempt with pyrography that I ever did. Um, but I always, that's how I got into drawing to begin with back in high school is learning how to draw portraits. I don't know why I was like obsessed with eyes and like trying to replicate things in a realistic 3D way on a two dimensional surface that like fascinated me for whatever weird reason. You don't do any of that now? No. <laughs> How come? Well, like, I still enjoy it, but in tattooing, like, tattooing is a completely different monster, and I, now that I know more about the process of tattooing and how it works and, like, what goes into making a good tattoo, like, I don't really want to do realistic stuff. Not, I mean, like, I still enjoy it from time to time, but, like, I'd rather do stuff that comes from, like, my own brain and, like, I don't know, imagination. Imagination so you, cool. you make a lot of quote-unquote cute stuff? Mm hmm Why? What draws you to that? Because I like cute things. <laughs> I know, but I know. what are you hiding from, Kelsey? No. I'm perpetually Definitely. an eight-year-old girl. Like, I don't know. I, like... I like things that are really like cute and I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of bullshit in the world and like I try to leave a cheerful, positive mark on people around me. So I've noticed that you bring a lot of crystals and mysticism mm. into your life. Mm. What? <laughs> I love crystals. No, I know. <laughs> so what does that kind of what does this stuff mean to you and what does it bring to your life? Magic. <laughs> Um, it's re it's a relatively. You don't have to feel weird with me. It's no, cool. no, 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 no. It's okay. I always feel weird. Uh, <laughs> um, it's a relatively new thing to me that I've got. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> that I um, that they I got into. They didn't see it. Oh, because you're not on camera. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, that I got into earlier this year. I was going through some rough stuff, and it was kind of a way for me to like channel that and like find some sort of peace <gasps> or. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Uh, <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Sorry. Because I'm not on camera, so. It's just Can you. we hear that? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but they can't out here. Oh, so bad. Oh. <laughs> 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 it's, no, it's great. It's awesome. <clears throat> I'm having a blast. All right. I'm having a blast. So I kind of envy the piece that you bring in with your crystals because I don't have that mm -hmm. at all. We talked about this the other day. Yeah, like yeah. I don't understand it. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't get the energy of it. I can kind of appreciate this mentality of it mm -hmm. and the incense crap, which I definitely... Relax, Maximilian. <laughs> we'll be right back in about two minutes after this commercial. Hey, we're back with Kelsey Moe. Hey, Kelsey. Hi. Sorry I fucked with you so much. That's okay. I mean, technically you're kind of still an apprentice. Mm -hmm. And I know I am too, but it's my show, so I can fuck with you a little bit. It's fair. I have to do it. I appreciate it. You don't at all. <laughs> you totally I don't. Very much. She wanted to just give me double middle fingers the whole time, I'm sure. Inside. So where do you see yourself in five years? Tattooing. Sure. Um, do you think you'll still be doing, like, cotton candy and unicorns? Or? I hope so. Yeah? I think so. But like really badass cotton candy and unicorns, I think. Like super bright colors? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And like larger scale pieces. I don't know. I really like, I think for me, the thing that I like about tattooing or one of the things that I like about tattooing is like the people, which is really weird for me to say because I used to. Because you hate people? I, I don't. No, I know you don't hate people. I don't people. hate people. I just, I'm very much a hermit. I like to be alone, um, but since tattooing, I've met so many people and have heard like so many different stories and like from everybody from all sorts of different walks of life. And like, I really appreciate that human connection because I didn't have that before in my life. This is getting really deep, um, but I don't know. I like the whole idea of like I had this thing before I started tattooing, like. What is my life purpose? Like, how am I going to leave my mark on the world and blah, blah, blah. But like with tattooing, like I'm literally doing that. Like there's literally little pieces of me or little pieces of my soul, like walking around the planet, which is kind of weird, but also kind of awesome. So do you feel like talking to clients that every day has kind of opened you up to the yeah, general sure. world? Yeah, that's definitely brought me out of my shell a lot more. I feel like I'm much more like my true self because of that and like I'm not as scared of people or as shy or awkward still awkward but um maybe not as shy as I used to be um you were definitely not as shy as you used to be was I really shy when you <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah just a little yeah <laughs> I think you're always going to be awkward but oh yeah I, I mean most of us are yeah I've come to learn that and appreciate that about everybody that I work with beer helps Beer is great. Me. Vodka. Vodka cranberry <laughs> helps her. Grey goose, because I'm classy. <laughs> so do you think uh, tattooing is going to be your lifelong passion? Tattooing and art for sure. Like, I don't know, and I kind of want to, since I'm into like all this sort of like crystal-y, magic-y, like spiritual stuff, like I kind of, ultimately I want to incorporate that into it somehow as they put the weed image. That, that, that was coincidental. What about the unicorn uh, fetus? Unicorn fetus. It's so magical. No one's gotten that tattooed yet. It no, is a sticker. It's, not, it's but... a sticker. I don't, there's some things I would want to change about it. Um, that's the thing. Like, that's the thing I've learned is like, you're never satisfied. Like at the end of the day, it's like, you always look at what you did that day and you're like, yeah, that was okay, but we could have done this better and this better. That's me. I know it's you. That's what I look like. <laughs> Clearly. Not really. Um, <laughs> um, Kinda. When I used to have pink hair, that was me. Um, I forget what I was saying. Damn it, Ben. What? Uh, I, I didn't. I was being all serious. I know. What was I saying? I don't remember. It's okay. Next question. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> I don't have one. Um, how do you? How? Here we go. This is yeah. happening. This is what I was waiting for. <laughs> okay. Um, 
How are you dealing with being an official apprentice? How is that going for you? It sucks for me. Um, Just because I know so many tattooers Mm -hmm. and have only had experience with pretty upper echelon tattooers my whole life. Mm -hmm. And now to be at the very bottom of that chain is intimidating as fuck. Yeah, it's terrifying. Like I did a semicolon tattoo today, which came out great, but it's not really pushing any kind of agenda. Right. It's not cool. Mm-hmm. But my client was red, and I really liked it. Like, I loved chatting with her, but I'm definitely not making the art I want to make. Mm-hmm. So when I go out and talk to my friends who are, you know, tattooers for 20 years, it's like, hey, yeah, I was working on this huge back piece. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah. There's in a that. double infinity symbol with some <laughs> initials, which, I mean, it's cool in one aspect, yeah. that, but it's tough, and I'm terrified most of the time. But after Paradise, I will probably never be terrified as much. Good. Well, but also, like, I think the people that you're friends with and the people that you know, like, they know. Like, they know you. They know where you're at, and they, like... I'm sure they're not judging you. They're probably like super pumped. No, I think I get judged more by the people that are here than the, my friends. I don't judge you. Well, that's good. I'm right there with you. Like you're better than I am. I'm super proud of you. Like Kelly's uh, Kelsey's line work is way better than mine. <laughs> it really Thank is. Thank you. I appreciate that. But she's afraid of cartridges. Uh, I'm gonna try them this Sunday. I don't know when that is. What? Because I'm. The, the underboot? Yeah, the, no, the little fire guy. Oh, it's, it's like uh, Howl's Moving Castle? Mm-hmm. I've never seen it. It was like, it was this character in this movie I've never seen, but it was a lot of fun, and she was a badass, and she sat really easily. <laughs> do the whole tattoo. So you want to talk to Nick? Sure. Yeah? Yeah. You ready? I am ready. I got okay. this. So we're going to run a couple commercials, and then we're going to come back with Nick Baxter and Kelsey. Mm. It's going to get more it's gonna be really awkward. Weird. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the show. Thank you to Kelsey Mull. Thank you to everyone that's listening on the podcast and everyone that's been watching on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. If you missed any of the past episodes, please check out the rest of our YouTube channel and you can subscribe on iTunes and catch the rest of it. And if you want to, you can get on your cable access station. If it's not playing on a local cable access near you, call them up. We will give it to them for free. Later.